when, when I grew up, there, there was this um, little ditch of a creek that uh, called the Fox River. Mm -hmm. It started out in Lannan, kind of Lannan Menominee Falls, and uh, flowed down uh, um, into Waukesha. And mm -hmm. uh, in Waukesha, it's real big and deep. And uh, there's a lot of northerns in there. So when it would get uh, warm out and that water gets stagnant down there, mm -hmm. they would come upstream and they would sit in that shallow creek in this small shallow water. And as a kid, I used to ride my bicycle. It was like 10 miles or maybe even more than that. It might have been like 15, 20. It would take you half the day to get there on my uh, bicycle. And I go up there with a, a fishing rod and, and uh, catch some northerns. Yeah. And, uh, I did that all the way up until uh until I was a young adult, then I just quit quit going there and now it's all no trespassing and all that stuff, you know. Right. You know, change. But um when I uh first met Carol and started doing things with her, I took her up there fishing one time and uh, we were catching northerns and letting them go and um I was using uh, shiners and I ran out of shiners and I had some night crawlers when I had a night crawler on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I caught this really big sucker on a night crawler. Yeah. Um, and the sucker was like 14 inches long. And I thought, well, my dad always told me, you know, a northern can eat something twice its size. So, you know, I know there's northerns in there 30 inches long. Yeah. You know, so I, I hooked a sucker on, put a giant <laughs> bobber on and a steel leader. And uh, I threw that thing out. There's these uh, this dogwood that grew into the water, it had a shelf underneath it. And there's like a hole there, and that's where the northern sat. But we had pretty yeah. much we had caught all the northerns out because you catch them like in the first half an hour you're fishing, right? But what the hell, you know? I caught this sucker, yeah. I put it on, I put it out there, and it kept pulling this bobber completely under the water and come back up, come back up. So then it's uh, <laughs> this, these cars would come by and see a fish in there, and they would stop and you know, what are you catching? What's in here? What's in? You know, they get all yeah. nosy, you know, trying to zone in on you and you, you try to be quiet and not tell them what you're you're catching because if they find out it's full of northerns and we get crowded and they catch right. everything out on you i mean it ain't much water there so this guy pulls up and uh um you know like probably 40s or something and i'm like 17 or 18 right and he yeah. comes walking over he goes what are you catching it's nothing is there anything in here not much well what are you fishing <laughs> i don't know there's carp and stuff in here what do you catch? Nothing. Who hey, you got one on? I go, nah, there's nothing on it. No, your bobber went under. That's my bait. He goes, your bait did not pull that under. That bobber is huge. You, you got something on there. This is my bait. And in the same time, the sucker is swimming into that dogwood and it's going to get tangled. Yeah. So I, so I got to pull it out. So I start reeling it in and I, I pull it and the guy wouldn't leave. He just stand there staring at us. So I pull up the big sucker and I throw it back in there. And this creek is literally... 15 feet across, maybe, maybe yeah. less than that, you know, and there's just a deep hole there. And otherwise it's just a little ditch, you know? Yeah. So this guy just starts laughing his ass off at me. You know, he's laughing. He's making fun of me. You think there's a thing, you know, and I'm all embarrassed because I'm with my girlfriend, you know, right. I throw back out there and I just stare at the bobber and I won't, I'm just making believe like he ain't there. Just ignoring him. So he leaves <laughs> and he just won't shut up. And finally he gets in his car and he's leaving and I'm, I'm watching him go and I'm watching his taillights go and I turn around and my bobber's gone. Look, and all of a sudden, all these bubbles start coming up, and I see the bobber zooming around in that hole way underwater. Yeah, I'm like, Holy crap! And even though it would have killed my spot, I'd love that guy to see that. Yeah, I reeled that thing till, till it hit the bobber and set the hook. And that's the biggest northern I ever caught. I had that thing on for like 15 minutes, it went down that creek, that ditch, to the point where it was going to get where the creek turned and there was like a deadfall tree in the water. And it was going to break my line. And I had like, uh, that's another thing the guy was laughing about. I had this like salmon rod with like 30 pound <laughs> test on it, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it was pulling drag and I couldn't stop it. And eventually it was going to get under that tree. I grabbed the spool and manually stopped it. Figured, well, if it breaks the line, it's going to break it anyways, if it gets in the trees. Yeah. And I was able to just turn it around and drag it back. And, uh, we ended up catching that thing and I forget what it was, but it was, um, high forties inch wise and i yeah. mean it was big around like a log <laughs> it was yeah a, it was a pretty cool catch it was the biggest northern i ever caught and that uh that ditch was like 15 feet across had a good honey hole there 
Um, yeah, I don't have any cool fishing stories like that. It's always just like, caught me a 13 inch crappie today, you know. <laughs> I'd still be uh, fishing if they had antlers. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Hey, everybody, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.